Caitlin Albright. Studies have shown that globally nearly 25% of the student population experiences a variety of psychological problems, while 20.1% of male students and 17.9% of female students complained of high anxiety. This is according to Kenneth Bubal, a part of the Turkish Ministry and National Education, in the journal Current Approaches in Psychiatry, published in June of 2023. Everyone in this room knows at least one person who has suffered from academic anxiety and burnout. The U.S. Department of Education should implement mental health days for students. First, I will explain causes of academic anxiety and burnout. Second, I will talk about possible solutions and ways we can help students with academic anxiety and burnout. Let's start with some stressors. Students struggle every single day with academic anxiety and burnout. Academic anxiety is defined as a worry, irritation, and nervous feelings about academic tasks and achievements within educational life. Students with academic, high academic anxiety may experience academic failure, weakened learning, and weakened environmental adjustment. Students also have to cope every day with both internal and external problems. Some examples of this are the attitude of teachers, peer pressure, expectations of family or friends, academic performance history, and self-assessment. It has also been proven that the academic anxiety and burnout has been a leading cause of suicide and depression. In 2022, it was reported that over 2,320 students died by suicide due to academic failure in India. That is more than six people per day. Another cause of academic anxiety and burnout could be domain-specific anxiety. This is according to Leslie M. Hasty, who is a Master of Science in Human Development and Family Sciences from Texas Tech University in the British Journal of Educational Psychology, published in July of 2020. The research on domain-specific anxiety has been focused mostly on mathematics. Mathematics anxiety has been described by students as an anxious feeling while anticipating or engaging with mathematic activities. Some examples of this are taking a test, attending a class, and even doing everyday calculations, such as dividing a dinner bill. Domain-specific anxiety can also fasten behavioral avoidance. Behavioral avoidance. It can also hinder a student's ability to be able to gain knowledge and practice basic life skills. Students with this are also tend to exhibit more irritated, disengaged, and unprepared behaviors in class, as well as they're unable to maintain goal-driven attention. Another co leading cause of academic anxiety and burnout is trait emotional intelligence, or TES. This is according to Katerina Faroli, who is a professor, who is a professor of developmental and educational psycho psychology at the University of Rome, in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, published in April of 2020. TES is defined as a set of personality dispositions concerning how people manage their emotions or understand their impact of their emotions and social interactions. People with low TES have been shown that, has been shown that they have high anxiety, depression, and anger issues, which also leads to disru dis disruptive behaviors. People with high levels of TES have also have been shown to have more, more positive attitude and outlook on stressful life events. Now that we've talked about a couple causes of academic anxiety and burnout, let's look at a couple possible solutions. The U.S. Department of Education must ment implement mental health days for students. Mental health days can give students the opportunity to be able to reju rejuvenate their mental health and give them a chance to get tra back on track in their classes. This is according to Luciano Romano, a researcher at the University of Rome in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, published in July of 2020. Mental health days give students the opportunity to be able to catch up in all their classes. It gives them the opportunity to reset their nervous systems and get out of their fight or flight modes. This can also help with domain specific anxiety. How it helps with this is it gives students the opportunity to be able to work on the subject that gives them the most anxiety from the safety of their home. As well as it gives the students the opportunity to be able to reach out to all their teachers for any questions they have regarding their assignments and anything else they can need from them. This leads me into talking about teacher emotional support or TES. TES has also been proven to help students lower their emotional exhaustion levels. It has proven to help also help students have a better adaptation on the school setting and the taxing academic demands. Students that have perceived teacher emotional support or TES have also been, have, are more protected from maladaptive coping strategies and disruptive behaviors in school burnout. Today, we talked about possible causes of academic anxiety and burnout and we talked about a couple possible solutions that can help with that, such as having mental health days. Student, the U.S. Department of Education should implement mental health days. About one in four students suffer from academic, say they 
experience a variety of psychological problems. That is 25% of students. What that, that could mean there are about four to five students just in this class and 25 students in our grade that could be suffering from any number of psychological problems. This is a problem emerging in today's day and age and we should all want to be a part of the solution.